can you say in a few words the importance, significance and uh, the history of uh, Saraswati Mahal Library? Generally, Tanjavur is an ancient city. It was uh, headquarters from 850 onwards. The Cholas road to Tanjavur, after Chola Max, Maratha King's road. In Tanjavur, the Saraswati Mahal Library is one of the ancient library in India. It was started as a palace library around 1600 by the Nayakins. This palace was built by Raghunath Nayaka. As during that period, Raghunath Nayaka has started the library. Because more than 30 poets were in the court. Whatever they have written was stored in that palace. That was previously called as Saraswati Banda. Later, this was renamed as Saraswati Mahal Library. So, Saraswati Mahal Library. Is one of the ancient library in India. It was uh, from 1600 onwards. After Nike, this was ruled with the Maratha kings. Great Swaji's uh, brother Ekoji was the first uh, Maratha king of Punjab. He came to power in 1675. From 1675 onwards, uh, 11 kings ruled, 11 Maratha kings ruled Punjab. The last but one, Sakhur Jay was an uh, important king. He developed the library. Even though there is a lot of contribution from different uh, Maratha kings. Uh, the Sarfoji came to power in 1698, but only one year only he was an independent king. In 70, 1799, he had a treaty between the British. According to the treaty, the administration go to British. So he completely diverted activities for art and literature. He, first, after coming here, he found there is, a, there is no proper catalog to the library. So the first catalog to the library was prepared by Sarfoji for palm leaf manuscripts in palm leaf form and that of paper manuscript in paper form in 1801. That was the first catalog available in whole India. So like after that, he pilgrimage to 1820 to Benares. He took nearly 300 people along with him. Librarian, copyist, artist, different type of people. Wherever he found any library, he asked the librarian what are the manuscripts not available. So they may copy it and they brought to the library. In that way, he enriched the library. According to the friendship with the British, he was made as one of the member of Royal Asiatic Society in 1824. Because of that, whatever books printed in London, he received a copy. In that way, he collected more books and manuscripts. So this was uh, one of the ancient library, and uh, this was catalogued in different times. But in 1880, one Dr. A.C. Burnell, an orientalist, and he was a session judge of Tanjavu, he has concentrated, he has uh, went through all the Sanskrit manuscripts, and brought up their catalog. That catalog was one of the uh, important catalog which brought to all to the world. Because there was only two part for Sanskrit manuscripts. That catalog is the very ancient manuscripts. That catalog. So in that way, this library is uh, we are having. Uh, after Sarfoji, this was looked after by his uh, son up to 1855. Then 1855, there was no male hair, so this administration falls to British. So until 1862, the collector was looked after the things. Then after that, the Sarfoji's daughter-in-law, she appealed to Privy Council and she again, she got that administration power. And from 1862 till 1905, this was looked after by the, the continuously, the administration, palace administration by the queens. The last queen was demised in 1912. After that only, this become a public library. From 1918 on, onwards, this was a matter of the public library and looked after the government of Tamil Nadu. In 1965, our former Prime Minister Indira Gandhi visited and she thought this library is one of the, one of the national pride. So she wanted to make it a national library. So she appointed a committee under the Lord leadership of Dr. S. R. Ranganathan, the Indian father of libraries. That committee has submitted a a report with that report only in 1979 they unveiled this library is looking after both the government of India and government of Tamil Nadu. So now this is library is a, a registered society. The salary and other things of the staffs maintenance is by government of Tamil Nadu and all the developmental grants from government of India. This is the administrative setup. Now this library is looking after as an administrative board of governors. It is 13 members body. The Education Minister Tamil Nadu is a chairmanship and the Cultural Secretary Government of India is vice chairmanship. Totally all the experts from Government of India and Government of Tamil Nadu are members of the thing. 
the library we are having 49,000 manuscripts uh, in major four languages. How, and how many? We are having 49,000 manuscripts uh, in major four languages: Sanskrit, Marathi, Tamil, and Telugu. And these are uh, 25,000 manuscripts in palm leaf form and 24,000 in paper form. These are in representing. Apart from that library, we are having 49,000. Uh, 69,000 books also. Among the 69,000 books, 5,000 books collected by Sarfoj Raja in European collection. Mostly English, French and German language. We are having a very ancient uh, first edition books also uh, printed in our products available. Particularly we can say there is a lot of uh, Indian books also, Indian rare books also available in this library. So this library we are having a threefold function. We are preserving what our books and manuscripts are available and we are publishing the unpublished manuscripts in book form and we are giving assistance to research scholars of upcoming research. This is the general activity. This library, so far we have published 535 books from the manuscripts and from 1948 onwards this library publishing a journal also for publishing a small manuscripts to the public. So these books uh, totally we are publishing in five languages, Sanskrit, Marathi, Telugu, Tamil and English languages. Uh, these are very ancient manuscripts are publishing in this form also. And this library we are having a very ancient manuscripts. Generally, mostly in Tamil Nadu, the literary tradition forms on the bank of rivers. That is in Kaveri, Mother uh, Vaikai and Tamil Nadu. This uh, Kaveri, this, this is a gift of Kaveri River. Because mostly from last 2000 years, there is a cover is uh, uh, completely mostly literary form, tradition, and uh, even Chola period onwards, uh, all the poets were uh, stayed around uh, in this uh, on the bank of cover only. That's why mostly all the libraries uh, started in ancient days in the temple, they stored in the temple only. Sometimes they have uh, the priest was the librarian, and they have read the manuscripts in the temple itself. So they call that mandapam is called the Patana Mandapa. So that's every temple had a, a, such a storage facilities in those days. Even we have some uh, uh, inscription details also in that form. Yes, particularly in Sri Lankan there was a uh, temple library and Siddhambaram there was a temple library. Madurai there was a temple library and Kalumalai was a temple library and that inscription gives the name of the librarian and the, what are the lands given for the maintenance of the library all these things. Because Ratra Jisola we know that is a Devaram, all the Devaram manuscripts were stored in Siddhavaram temple only. So during Ratra the period only it was looked after and it was preserved. So only what we are having is only uh, only part of, part of the manuscripts only the Devaram is available. That way the tradition is that most of the poets they were uh, lived in the bank of Kaveri river only. So whatever they have written were uh, given to the temple and they were stored. In that way this library is receiving manuscripts from dead back onwards. Even some of the Chola manuscripts are also available in the library. And particularly during the Nayak period, that is Rathanatha Nayak was a very peaceful period that uh, whatever, even him, he himself father of many manuscripts uh, and his son also, also uh, because he was a Vainavit uh, cult, he has uh, built some of the temples also. In that way he has uh, written more manuscripts on the uh, Telugu movement. The Exaganas, mostly the Malatu, Bhagavad Mala and other Exaganas were uh, uh, found during his period only. There was a lot of uh, Exaganas and uh, uh, some of the Kavya manuscripts have flourished in doing field. All these things, uh, how we are known means uh, Raghunath Nayaka's son, Vijay Raghunath Nayaka, he has written a book about his father's activities, Raghunath Nayaka Abudayam. In that, manuscripts gives all the details of his father's activities and the, the poet's name, what are the books flourished with that also. Because that is the way that according to that manuscripts only, we are uh, ascertained that this library was uh, uh, started from Raghunathana and Kapi itself. After that, uh, uh, after Nayak, it was Maratha Kings. The Maratha Kings, we can say there is uh, the Sahaji was the, the second king. Sahaji was uh, very important. He continued, he has continued the literary tradition of the Nayaks because he was very much uh, uh, attached to the Thiruvadur temple and he has he himself uh, many author, author of many manuscripts. Tanjur was uh, a seat of music because this. Uh, uh, mostly the Tanja portrait was started in Tanjavur, my musicians. 
So there was a Bharadharma, a manuscript available in the library, which was published also. It gives all the details about uh, Bharadhanatyam. And all the, we have some of the ancient uh, traditional dance system also there. And they, all the manuscripts are giving all these things. Not only that, this uh, Sarkoj was very much interested in music. He collected some 200 music books from foreign countries. Uh, it is foreign music. That music was uh, incorporated with the Carnatic music. All this was in written in a manuscript form also. And uh, one Varaha Paya was a person he has practiced it in that music. So because we can find some of the music books in himself, uh, this was donated to Varaha Paya, the teacher's decorator. Let uh, all these 250 books are available. Even the famous uh, musician, the Beethoven's music book also available in the collection. In that way he collected more music books. Because that way only there is a lot of uh, musicians. And even Tanjavur uh, temple, there was a continuously the drama was uh, played in those pieces also. And uh, we have some of the Agama manuscripts also. Very rare Agama manuscripts are available. Particularly the Tanjavur temple was uh, built by the Magudagama. This Magudagama manuscripts are available in this library also. So that way we have a Mahakama temple. And Silpa Sastra, we have a, a good number of Silpa Sastra type at least 81 number of Sipha Sastra manuscripts are there. Sipha Sastra, how to build a, man, a temple, uh, how to carve a man, uh, completely uh, statues, carving of a wooden carving, all these things are available. So mostly all the people now, uh, they are doing means uh, all these things we have published in a book form and it is available for sales also. All the people, people are doing. And particularly in Sarfoji period, even before Sarfoji period, he was very much interested in mis medicine. Sarfoj was a person in medicine. He collected more than 350 medicine books printed in London. So that gives all the anatomical and all the structures of the body. And he not only he has followed, he started a Dhanudri Mahal hospital. In that hospital it is not followed only Alopadi, Siddha and Ayurveda and Yunani. All these things were written in a manuscript form by the poets of in his court. So now we are publishing in the name of Sarabhindra Vaidya, Patra Vaidya Varayakar. That was the series we have published. At least we have published more than 35 books and medicines. Now these are very simple medicines so most of the people are following it also. And Sarpoji, and there was an ophthalmologist section was separately for that purpose for research. And they have maintained the caste disease. They are caste disease even now available in the in this library, we are having a very earlier, library. generally palm leaf manuscripts, the tradition of palm leaf manuscripts in Tamil Nadu, particularly the tradition of Sanskrit, uh, palm leaf manuscripts hailed from South India only. But South India, particularly we can say Tamil Nadu, and the palm leaf manuscripts because we have more palm leaf manuscripts. We have in Tamil, there is the earliest work is the Tolkapiyam, that is around the 7th to 8th century BC. So, Tulkapim onwards, even before Tulkapim, there was a work called Akathiyam. That Akathiyam also it is in a palm leaf manuscript. But it, it is generally, uh, India is a tropical climate. We cannot preserve a manuscript to more than 500 years. Whenever a manuscript is written, if they have copied immediately after 500 years. That uh, copying technique was continuously in different places. That is the reason we are having all the Tulkapim, all the Sangam literatures and continuously. Whatever the manuscripts, uh, the original manuscripts, whatever the manuscripts print, uh, available before 12th century is uh, completely uh, copied on. There is no real manuscripts. Uh, maybe even Tilkural is uh, 2000 years old, but whatever the manuscripts Tilkural available in Tanjavi in, in India is a uh, copies only. Because in those days, there was a practice of copying more. Some, some of the months, uh, they copied more manuscripts uh, and they had given to others. Uh, that is called a Grandadana. The Grandadana, by the way, of Grandadana, they have written multiple copies and denoted to other people. Other people. This library, we are having only one manuscript uh, called Palavati. It's a Germania Sutra. The Germania Sutra is one of the ancient manuscripts, but it's uh, generally all the manuscripts in the first leaf or the last leaf, we can find it, uh, the date when they have written, whether when they have copied, or finally when they have completed. But these manuscripts, there is no uh, first leaf or last leaf. So the manuscripts having, otherwise how we can find that the uh, age of the manuscripts means by the development of uh, script. So according to the calligraphy, 
we are telling it 11th century. There is a Jamina Sutra, it was published it's in a book form also. Another earliest paper manuscripts means we are having, there is in 1476, it's called Bhamadi, Vasaspati Misra's work. Suppose he has collected the work from uh, his visit to London, uh, Bengal. So he collected, and that paper manuscript is one of the earliest paper manuscripts of the world. We have some Telugu manuscripts of what India. What is Bengali manuscript, what it deals with? It, 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 deals with, it also wears a sutra on it. Bengali also. It is in a collection of wears a sutra. This is Vasaspati Misra's uh, Bhavamati. And we have some Telugu, early Telugu manuscripts also. Even we have uh, Amthi Maria for uh, Krishna Devarai is available. And we have some of the earliest manuscripts of uh, Krishna Devarai period is also available here. And after that, the uh, Maratha manuscripts, uh, mostly Ramdas much, uh, Ramdas during 1716-1775, Ramdas Swami has visited and his disciples, uh, 18 disciples, he started much. Uh, so all the much they have started to write in manuscripts. In that manuscripts are now available in Sanjaya only. That is particularly we can say there is uh, all the Mahabharata and Ramayana manuscripts of the tradition is available, Marathi manuscript. But yeah, an ancient manuscript, very rare manuscript, we cannot say, we cannot find a manuscript on the outside. It is called uh, Ambar Hussain. Ambar Hussain. It's a Ambar Hussain, a Muslim wrote commentary for Bhagavad Gita. That is the only manuscript in Marathi available here only. That type of things are there. Even we have a very calligraphically, very interesting manuscript also one is available. It is in a Marathi language. It is a, a slogan, some slogans about Lord Shiva. They have written, each letter is made up of the word Shiva, 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 Shiva. Such a micro letter they have used to, be, to write that letter. That type of manuscript is available. And we have a manuscript say, called uh, Gadatriya and Sabdata Sindhamani. These manuscripts, when we are reading from one side, this gives a story of Lord Krishna. When we are reading from other side, it gives a story of Bhagavad This is the same grouping of words gives a different meaning. That is available also. There is another manuscript called Sita Kalyana. There is called Nirostra Sita Kalyana. When we are reading the book, the lips should not touch. And that way they have made the words of that. In that way, there is a lot of manuscripts available, and we have manuscripts of uh, just a scientific manuscripts of uh, astronomical manuscripts there, and we have manuscripts of uh, how to find the water divining. This type of manuscripts are available in the library. So this library, from 1989 onwards, uh, the library is uh, looking up, uh, serving to the public. Now, when it comes to the agriculture. The food habits of Tanjavur and all whether we have in manuscripts? Yeah, certainly. The food habits are also there. The particularly, there is even a Sarpoji Maratha food habits, is a very literary. He has a, a Bhagasasra. We have published that Bhagasasra. There is Maratha Bhagasasra. In Bhagasasra, it gives a, a complete uh, a types of food uh, It was used in uh, Maratha period. And it was uh, complete in three languages also. We have published in three languages. Mostly the catering students are very benefited in that way. And another thing is for uh, Raghunathan I Hapudya, he has given a list of uh, his father's activities, uh, what type of food he has taken, and when we are lunch, what are the things. Uh, so that is gives uh, in this uh, Raghunathan Hapudya about uh, his, uh, uh, the, the Telugu people's uh, food habits also there. So foods are out there. Agriculture are mostly uh, paddy only, and uh, they have not given much thing. But they, we have some of the uh, manuscripts giving uh, some information about the plant cultures. We have the plant, how to uh, culturing of uh, plants. What are the uh, what, what what are the seasons plants, uh, and how we can use the fertilizers and types of fertilizers we have to use. That is natural natural things. Uh, these type of manuscripts are so available. Then even you find a water dwelling, you find any this tree, and when you find any tree, and if you find there is a, a, some of the ant caves, you can find the, the, the water must be in 30 feet or 50 feet. That type of it is, it is true because now it is not possible, but previously certainly some 50 years back certainly there. And Sarkoji had more uh, uh, horses and elephants. Well, to protect that also, he has a sasra, asu sasra and gaja sasra. And asu sasra and gaja sasra are not only uh, a literature form, complete a pictorial form, some of the mythological picture forms. 
And these manuscripts were uh, preserved from uh, Sarkozy period, I guess. Because we don't have uh, information before Sarkozy. But Sarkozy period, I guess, we have a complete class. Because the Maratha can say they can maintain the day to day diaries for uh, just not disclosed to others. They have recorded in a script called Modi script. All the manuscripts, all the day to day diaries are recorded in a, in a script called Modi script. So, through Modi scripts, we find a, what are the actors taken for the preservation of the materials. So, in a supposed period, completely all the manuscripts were stored in 10 big cupboards and 10 small cupboards. Because in uh, 1826, Bishop Heber, the chief bishop of Calcutta, he visited every churches and he stayed four days in this uh, palace as a guest of Sarkozy. And after that, he has mentioned his uh, diary that so I have visited two libraries, a book library and a manuscript library, which was stored in ten big cupboards, ten small cupboards. Even all the cupboards are available. So that's because they know all the people, it's a tropical climate. If you want to preserve any books and manuscript, we have to control four things. Dust, light, heat and humidity. For controlling all these things, they have put it all the manuscripts in the wooden cupboard. Wood was the best. Because wood acts as a buffer. Not directly as a wood. They have wrapped the manuscripts in cotton or silk cloth, particularly red colored cloth. Because red is a repellent to insect. So that's why in ancient days all the materials uh, they have wrapped with the red color and need to keep away the insects. And not only that, they put uh, some of their in, uh, insect repellent in the cupboards. Usually they have used the neem leaves, dried neem leaves. Particularly they collect the leaf at the time of flowering tree and dried in the shade and they have used it. And uh, wasambu, that is in a sweet flag, wasa. They have, it is also used, it's a, 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 a botanic name is called Akras Kalamas, it was also used. So these two things, if you want to preserve any books and manuscripts, we have to touch the manuscript at least twice in a year. That is also before rainy season and after rainy season. So before rainy season to clean the manuscripts only, our uh, uh, Hindu mythology, mystology, Mythology, they put a date for Saraswati Puja. The Saraswati Puja, at the particular date, we have to clean the books and read. That is the date for before rainy season. And after rainy season, we have to tag and we have to erase and just we have to open the book. So, this is a two times after rainy season, before rainy season. When we do it, the no insect will come, no fungus will come. If only when the dust deposit, the dust absorbs the moisture, then the Water, there is a uh, spores in the air uh, grow as a fungus. The fungus is there, there is a filthy smell, it will attract insects. So, without yeah, good housekeeping, it will keep away. So, this was done from ancient days onwards. Even after that, if any administrative report of 1922, 23, 24, you could find all these things. Apart from that, uh, in 1980, there was a, uh, sorry, 1880, there was a library called Kuppa Bhatta. Kuppa Bhatta has his own technique of a mixer of material called uh, there is a sweet flag, pepper, cloves, bark of cinnamon and black cumin. All these materials were dried in the sero, make it powder and small cloth, the powder with a small camphor, they put it. It will keep away six months. So this will I got from that uh, uh, Modi document uh, list. So this way even now I am following uh, just the other libraries following all these things. So this is the way they do. But later days, nowadays, after visit of our uh, former uh, Prime Minister Indira Gandhi and this her writing which must be micro -crap. So then there was a microfilm set was started. So now we are having all the mostly 80% of the manuscripts were completely micro -filmed. And I was working there for 32 years as a conservator. I have done my best completely all the natural but uh, I got my training from different parts of world but uh, with the available material I have concentrated not scientific, uh, scientifically not chemically I have followed everything indigenous material because chemical sometimes they may react adversely so I have followed only indigenous material 
So all the managers now in Sarsil Mahalaji mostly preserved. And we have so another technique also, handwriting, copy writing also. So some of the printed manuscripts instead of uh, frequent handling, they are writing also. The digitization is yet to start. We have only started and only for giving copies to the research scholars, we are giving digitization. But uh, preservation point of view, still yet to start. This is the consideration. But all the manuscripts are mostly in good condition. And with manuscript mission, what was the activity? Yeah, we have from 2004 onwards, uh, this library was identified as a uh, Manuscript Resource Center and a Manuscript Conservation Center. I was a coordinator of that thing. Okay. Through the mission, I have completely all the manuscripts were clean. I have okay. I pointed more people clean and went through and completely cataloged. Through the mission only, I have all the manuscripts in Sarsangma Library were cataloged. Totally 62 volumes were published. We know what is the wealth of India. Just at least another five years it will come so that really we will make in a good uh, uh, number of what are the number of manuscripts available. And there was a system also, what is the earliest, the, what is the unique manuscripts available, is a without copy, that manuscripts are digitalized in the also. And we have done that way in a, a nice work in Tajau, like we also.